Manicure that lasts two to three weeks and takes only three minutes to dry with no risk of smudging the polish before you get home. Is that what you have? Oh, well, you know. So nice. <laughs> Sounds like a dream, but it's here. It's now. The question is, is it wow? Right. Is it safe? We set Sarah Underwood to find out. It's truly one of the best inventions. A miracle? And I would say it's a miracle. Girls are going gaga for gel. Gel manicures, that is. The quick-drying, long-lasting lacquer brush-on polish is all the rage in nail salons from Boston to New York City and all across the country. It's pretty much like a woman's dream manicure. Except for the price, 30 bucks at Lux Nails and Wellesley, the gel manicure is not a hard sell, particularly with active, time-crunched women. Makers of the product say unlike a regular mani that lasts a few days, this will last at at least two weeks. It really is incredible. I had my gel nail polish done two and a half weeks ago, and look, it's still perfect. The process is simple. Similar to a regular Manny, the chip resistant polish, which comes in a limited amount of colors, is brushed on by a nail tech. After each coat of gel plus base coat and top coat, your hands are placed under a UV lamp to quicken dry time. Within three minutes of that last coat, you're ready to go home. But is this too good to be true? These women think so. I think they look really thick like old school tips. And um, I would maybe do it if I was going someplace like a safari that was far away and there was no manicures available. I got the red and it looked like I had stickers on. Like I had put like, you know that silly putty that you put on? That's what it looked like. And I was like, oh my God. When they have to take off the gel nails, you have to soak in a bowl of like acetone and then they scrape it off with what seems to be like a razor, and you just feel like my nails are completely thin underneath. Depending on the technician, the removal process can be quite abrasive. First, there's filing. Then dipping, your nails drenched in acetone for a good five to ten minutes. What's not soaked off is scraped off. And that won't hurt my nails? No, it won't hurt your nails. Dermatologists are beginning to express concern. Dr. Robin Travers tells me while acetone is not medically dangerous, it is an irritant that can create redness, flaking, and scaling. Sort of like um, an extreme version of dishpan hands. But what worries her most are the ultraviolet lights used to dry the polish. The UV damage can make the skin on your hands look older and even worse. Any additional dose of UV light that you get, you know, whether it's walking out in the midday sun or sticking your hands under a UV light source, is an additional exposure to a carcinogen. And it can pose a potential risk for developing skin cancer. Regardless of the warning, there's plenty of us who seem to think long-lasting manis are still worth the risk. Proof is in the numbers. The owner of Lex Nails and Wellesley telling me that roughly 80% of his clients have switched to gel. Why they haven't invented this for women sooner, I don't know. Sarah Underwood, Fox 25 News. Dermatologist also tells Sarah when the polish begins to chip, don't try to peel it off yourself. You'll take the top layer of your nail right off with it. And make sure you're going to a licensed tech. We're putting Sarah's story up on our website right now if you want to catch it, catch it again, or share it with a friend.